The U.S. Army is finally putting a laser weapon on the ground. The Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense MSHORIDE system is designed to shoot down not only drones, but also incoming artillery, which has been a vexing problem on the battlefield for hundreds of years. The Army is set to field the first four lasers mounted to armored vehicles sometime next year. Over the summer, the Army tested MSHORIDE at Fort Bliss, home of the service's Air Defense Artillery Branch in Texas. The system uses a 50 kilowatt laser weapon system to concentrate a beam of focused laser light at a drone, heating the surface of its skin. In turn, this can cause aerodynamic failure, blind the drone sensors, disable the engine, or even detonate the fuel supply or explosive payload. This is useful, considering drone attacks are one of the most urgent issues that the Army is currently facing. Small, fast, and capable of carrying a lethal payload, the drone threat has quickly escalated from jury-rigged hobbyist drones to military-grade weapons capable of autonomously engaging enemy troops. Although the U.S. Army is the most dominant ground force in the world, it was not prepared for this threat and has scrambled to catch up. The Umsharad, the first Army ground laser weapon, is an outgrowth of this effort. The service plans to mount the laser weapons on striker infantry armored vehicles sometime in fiscal year 2022. Another major capability of the MSHORAD is the ability to shoot down enemy artillery. For more than a century, the only way ground forces could respond to enemy rockets, mortars, and artillery shells was to dig in, move to another position, or attack the artillery directly. The MSHORAD the Army claims can now intercept those munitions in mid-flight, preventing them from landing among friendly troops. The Army has four the MSHORAD vehicles, but if the system works as planned, it will almost certainly buy dozens more. The service has nothing else like it for engaging enemy drones and artillery, and it has 10 combat divisions and several separate brigades and regiments to protect. The service says this summer's testing demonstrated the design characteristics and performance criteria established to the program, which is a major step toward fielding the system.